Good morning guys from Uganda in Arua city. West Nile regions. Yes, um today I slept in Arua and today I'm proceeding ahead with my journey to uh, Numeli. I think so I'm going to to sleep in Numeli then tomorrow I'll go to Juba. Yeah, I think I will first buy Koboko. I'll first buy Marasha, Koboko, Yumbe, Germany, and then Lego, then Lego to Nimele. It is a long journey again, my brothers. So come along and enjoy the journey with me. Yes. I have this Ugandan shilling. That's the last Ugandan shilling I have now for the journey. Yes, I'm going to spend some for my journey here. And I'll go and use the rest on the border side there. It is kind of fine. This one here is 25,000. You get it? Shilling. More money here. I can go for shopping with this money. And I can buy lots of things with this money, guys. I see there is good life here, guys. Life is affordable here. Life is affordable here. The cost of living is not that high here, guys. I feel like I want to remain in this country, but you know, my job is calling me there. I have to go and do one or two things right there, man. But one will plans, one will plans for this country. Yeah, one will, one will plans. I will bring youngs, whatever here, to come and study here, guys. Because life is so so fine, life is so so good, and everything is good here. 100 USD, they are changed here at 376,000. And that money is big. It's very, very big. The money can buy a lot of things, guys. That money can buy a lot of things here. Food, rents, and all those stuff. 100 USD can buy it. That's where I spend the night, guys. You can see how beautiful is this hotel here. It's a very good hotel. It's Grover actually. It's Grover. Yeah. It's Grover. Tall building. In Arroyo's town. That's where I spent the night. Yeah. I had a very, very good night here. I have to say goodbye to this place and the management of this place in a very, very special way. Because I slept well and they received us well. The reception here is kinda. Good guys. Yeah. Breakfast is free. I'm going to take breakfast if it is ready, but it is, if it is not ready, then I will go. They told me breakfast is there. I have to go and take breakfast free. Then I go, guys. If it is late, that's when I will not wait for breakfast. If it is ready, I'll take breakfast, then I go. I think whenever I come to Rua, I'll be spending my days here in this hotel. It is very, very good hotel. But that's one thing. From here to South Sudan is very far compared to from Kampala, Gulu Road to South Sudan is near. This road here is very, very far. I think next time when I'm coming to Arua, I'll take a bus from Gulu to Karuma. Then from Karuma, I'll get the connect whatever bus to Arua. Yeah, it, it will be faster than, it will be shorter than this one here. And right now I'm going to, I'm going to, whatever, it's going to take me a long time, but it's okay, guys. So I'm washing my face here, guys, and also brush my teeth before I start my journey, you know. You have to get prepared in the morning to the steel. It is still uh, 8 o'clock now, Uganda time. In South Sudan, it is 7 o'clock. I'm brushing. That's the view from the window in this hotel, guys. Kind of good and nice. The view here. Arua City. Arua City have grown, you know. I was in Arua here in 2007 up to 2010. Now they have. 
they have transformed everything, roads, buildings, and what. I could not know some places where I am here. Just watching my face, guys. Just watching my face in the morning. I'm going to where I'm going to. I don't know why am I getting lost in a road. <laughs> <laughs> I was here, but another Passengers, then they have come and we are proceeding again. So we are heading to Arua Airfield is somewhere here. I could not even our school was just next to this main road, but now they have shifted it to Ondumbaraka Road. They call it Ondumbaraka Road, the roads to Congo. The other roads down to Congo. This there is airfield here, a raw airfield. This one here, I think, is a raw airfield, guys. That's the airfield for a raw district. It's kind of good, you know, to visit my old places. I feel refreshed to have been here. I feel refreshed to have been here once again, guys. But it was a long journey. Oh? It was a long year. If I'm that type of person who feel tight on road trips, I could have not even go again. I would have slept three, two, two, twice here for two days or three days. Then I pursued again. But I say, you know, let me go back home, you know. I know Uganda is my second home, but the five days I have spent here are enough. I have to go to South Sudan now. Maybe next time I will plan my days well so that I can come and spend enough time here. But now the days are not enough. I have to go back and do something there. And still I will not forget these trips in Uganda here. I'm going to plan again. I'm going to plan again. If not this uh, in the midst of this year, then it will be somewhere closer to the end of year. Next year. Yeah, I enjoy my staying here, I meet my old friend, the wife, what what. It's kind of fine here. Auto room here is just 20,000 shilling. 20,000 shilling, less than, I think it, yeah, it is less than 10,000 South Sudanese pound. Less than uh, $10. It is actually $10, I think. It is $10, yes. So, accommodation is not that expensive. Imagine in Kampala, and the accommodation was 35,000 shilling. That's equivalent to $10. In Juba, you could get accommodations of 30,000 South Sudanese pound, 20,000 South Sudanese pound. That's the rank right there. To get a good self contained room. For 20,000 South Sudanese pound, it's equivalent to 70,000 shilling. 70,000 shilling in Kampala, it is. it can give you two, two nights to sleep in hotel. Look at the roads here, guys. Looks how these people have constructed the roads here. The roads are kind of fine and good. And I can't believe the government of this place have done a great work here. Have you seen that hat? It's a good heart, by the way, but we're just passing by. I have to have a look at it, and then we go. Yeah, we are right now in Marasha. Marasha, yes. After Marasha, we will go to Koboko. Then from Koboko, we will go to Yumbe. 
is the long distance there eh? from Kobako to Yumbe is very very far and from Yumbe to Ajumani is another long journey guys you cross the Niles in between there if people cross the Nile using ferry all the vehicle and passengers they are there you will see it later guys it is kind of enjoyable journey yeah don't, don't don't move away from watching the video watch the video to the end you will see all these things here guys you'll see all these things all you will enjoy the trip and you will know the roads of uganda how well they are built how friendly are people as we are moving road block, road checks and what checks point police checkpoints no checkpoint police judges stand there when you come they say okay go just like that this is the nile guys this is the very nile we are going to cross by ferry that's the nile now have you seen this a very big river nile here it is going to park there. Oh, it's going to park there. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's very good. That one coming there is the ferry. It's coming with the vehicle and the passengers. It's actually coming from the other side of the Nile to this side here. Now they will drive out the car from the ferry. And also passengers will come out and we will be on board cross the Nile to the other side right, go and get our bag there. to uh, Germany yeah it's kind of fine here yeah. the Nile breeze yeah also have ambulance for emergency for any emergency that will happen here uh, it is kind of fine here yeah. the weather is good fine that thing is kind of fine guys on the Niles on the river Nile here in Uganda. Yeah, it was a long time. <laughs> coming to see the ferry. Oh, yeah, crossing it. Crossing over by the ferry. It's my first time to sail on the ferry guys. It's kind of fine and good. It's going to the other side of the Nile. We are almost to the middle of the Nile. So many fishermen catching fish there. The current, the way current is moving here is kind of top guys. You can see. Yeah. On, we are on the other side of the Nile crossing to we are on the side of the Nile we are now going to Germany uh, we have already crossed the Nile it is uh, 20 minutes actually to cross the Nile so we are in a Germany town this one here is a Germany town Germany town again guys we are waiting for the passengers come so that we can go yes yes sir that's it guys okay. bye bye we have reached lego lego is just uh, near with numeli just a three minute or two minutes away from numeli it is actually in uganda it is late now we could not cross to numeli yeah we can go but there are some ugandans on board with us we need to get their papers before they cross to South Sudan. Hey, my friend. Yeah, so we are sleeping are ready, here yeah? and tomorrow yeah. morning. Okay. That's, they will that's, get their papers and we will cross to the other side there. Yeah. yeah, my room is there. It's kind of fine here, guys. So I'm so going to spend the night here. Very nice then tomorrow we will go. It's very, very fine here. It was a long journey. Long journey, I tell you. Spend the whole day and listen to the nation now, guys. Look at the you listen to the bird singing here. Yeah. It's 
so many about singing i don't know they're singing for us thank you for watching the video to the end guys uh, i have to stop the video here thank you very much for taking your time to watch the video see you again in the next uploads kindly consider to subscribe bye bye and thank you very much for watching thanks